So I knew at some point if I had to um, sacrifice my mental health, I knew I would have to stop at some point. Nurses are coming forward on why they're making the leap to the private sector as the pandemic continues to strain resources in the public network. For some, they say it's about the poor conditions they've been forced to work in even before COVID-19, but the virus making it even worse. Nurses are overworked. I am overworked, uh, mentally especially. And at some point um, in the past few weeks, we have been seeing COVID patients dying almost every day. So at some point, this is very overwhelming. ICU nurse Jennifer Philogen says she's leaving the public network in the next few days, just as a La Presse report found 4,000 nurses have quit during the pandemic. She says she's going private for a more stable and sustainable schedule. We have to do mandatory overtime, and this is very overwhelming. Doing 16-hour shifts is not easy. And if honestly, last year, I've, I had been doing overtime almost every weekend. So at some point, I have to take care of myself. Nurse Esther Carriolus did the same just before the pandemic hit, going from working in a long-term care home, now at an agency. I wasn't feel good to, to do my job when I was in CHSLD with the, the other nurse because the, the environment was really stressful. It's not about money. It's not about only money. It's about really the um, how we are treated on the floor. You have to have sufficient uh, ratios. Uh, you, uh, you have to abolish um, a mandatory overtime as, as, as much as possible and a better distribution of the workload. So and many other things so to create, to create, create healthy and uh, work environments. Uh, before or after the pandemic. Premier Legault Tuesday said he wants to make it easier on nurses in a time when they've been negotiating a collective agreement still unsettled after more than a year. The government is working at making school and training for nurses quicker. And it's, it's not, a, not, not a good idea, not at all. As other professionals, it takes many years to, to train a nurse. So if you want to take better care of us, you need to listen to us. You need to come down on the floor and see what is happening. You need to see what's not safe and what's safe. Because if you do not understand what is happening on the floor, how are you going to put into place um, new measures, new uh, rules, if you don't understand what is happening on the floor? In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.